Hi, welcome back to Art of Awakening. One of the best things about the spiritual journey is that it's completely affordable to everyone. You don't need, I mean, there's plenty of free information out there. All you really need is your awareness. You don't really need fancy tools or anything. Uh, but that said, there are actually some really wonderful tools out there to uh, help to explore our spirituality and, and deepen our understanding of ourselves. And uh, one of them is one that I have become recently aware of, and it's called the Galactic Calendar. Uh, and so I recently ordered myself a Galactic Calendar. I've got it right here. And join me, and we'll, we'll do a little bit of un an unboxing, and I'll show you kind of what it is and why I'm so excited about it. So first of all, what difference does it make what calendar you use? Well, from what I understand, time and space, so the material world is really connected with time. We have to exist in time for things to happen, for, for us to manifest and things in the, the material world. And so how you work with time really affects what happens and and how you can work within reality right and so the system of time that most of us use the gregorian calendar is really kind of an artificial artificially constructed time system nature has her own cycles of time we start to align the way that we work with time more with the natural cycles we become more aligned with nature right and nature of course is the template for the ultimate you know uh, creation so it makes sense that using a calendar that's based on the natural cycles will help to bring us in alignment with our natural selves right with our truer selves and so here this is where what brings us to the um the galactic calendar okay so the galactic calendar I have one right here that I, I just ordered, it just came in, and it, it's the creation of a man named uh, Dr. Jose Arguelles, I hope I'm saying that right, um, but he was a, a Mayan, kind of a Mayan scholar, a very deeply spiritual person, very influential, and uh, he was actually instrumental, he was the one that initiated the Harmonic Convergence Global Peace Meditation back in 1987, which was the very first global peace meditation ever and so he was uh, very um, interested in like the Mayan calendar right and so I, I'm just gonna unbox this and I'll talk a little bit about it um, first of all I just love that they have this little um, you know they took the time to send little blessings right here and uh, so while, while I'm speaking here um, what he did was took the Mayan calendar and other kind of influences from other traditions and created a calendar that is intended to be a modern a calendar for modern use. So it is intended to fit with kind of be easy for a, a modern day person to follow and use but that also helps to align with the cycles of nature and with with ancient traditions as well right ancient wisdom and oh okay there we go so it's a calendar that uses the moon cycles um here it is this is the year of the blue lunar storm so that's what's on the cover here Okay, so taking a peek inside, this is one of my favorite things about this, is that they have a ton, a ton of information on the system. And it is a whole system, sort of like an ast astrological system that uh, you can use just like you do regular Western astrology to, you, you know, learn information about yourself or about what may be going on in the world. Um, here they introduce the, there's 20 energies that are represented by different glyphs, different symbols, and as well as 13 tones, what they call tones of creation, which is how these things are manifested in the world, right? And so you can actually look up your own galactic signature 
um, which is a combination of um, these glyphs and you know however however it is whatever day that you were born, it's going to show up as a, as a particular um, combination here. And there are there are twenty of these, thirteen of these. So whatever number that is, thirteen times twenty, it's a lot. So what ends up is that it, it can be really spot on. And so when I looked up my own galactic signature, I'm a yellow resonant human. It was really spot on with what I've determined over years <laughs> to be my own path and purpose. It was I was just kind of dumbfounded with how accurate that was, which is why I ended up ordering this calendar. Um, so you can actually look up your own galactic signature. I'll leave the link below. I'll also link, leave the link to the calendar. I am not affiliated any in any way from this. I don't, uh, I'm not getting any kind of kickback. I just wanted to share this as a tool that I think I, I'm very interested to see how this unfolds using this calendar. Um, I am suspecting that it's going to be a really, really useful tool. And I just want to kind of bring you through. Here's another whole spread of information that they tell you about time and about this particular system in, in working with time in this way. Uh, take you through a couple of the months. Um, they are just absolutely beautiful illustrations. I, I love this one with Lord Sheba in it. By the way, the New Year, the Galactic New Year started on July 26th, which is why I'm or I just ordered this calendar at this time, so this is the beginning of a new year with this system. And then, you, as you can see, each day it shows you the energies of that day as how they um, show up with the glyphs. And you can actually, there's places where you can look up kind of the meanings of each one, or you can just journal or feel into it and use your own intuition to feel into how the energies of the day are going to move forward. And in that way, these become really, really great prompts, I think, to help to guide our days and to help to elicit the wisdom out of our own selves. Okay, so um, if you feel inspired, check it out. And also, if you've used the Galactic Calendar or are using it yourself, I would love to hear your feedback. Uh, put your comments below as to how it has or even hasn't helped you. And finally, if you have another, um, another spiritual tool that you use, whether it's a favorite crystal or, or anything else um, that has been helpful to you, I'd love to hear about it. Please do share below. You never know when something like that will help somebody else. Uh, so I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you have, uh, please do like, uh, subscribe, and share, because um, I think these kind of things are really nice to, uh, to spread around, ideas like this. And other than that, uh, thank you so much for for watching and for your presence, and we'll catch you again soon.